Hey guys, Will here again with Happily Ever Outdoors. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Gerber STL 2.0 Fine Edge Folding Knife. This tough compact little folder from Gerber comes right in at $16 MSRP. That's a price right on GerberGear.com. I was able to find it a little bit cheaper. I picked up mine for $11 and that seems to be the going price at most of the other retailers. The STL in the name actually stands for Strong, Thin, and Light. And that's a fairly fitting name for this knife. Just to give you some quick specs, it has an overall length of 5.1 inches, a blade length of 2.1 inches, and a closed length of 3 inches. Uh, the weight on this thing is right at 1 ounce, so very lightweight and very compact. This is a frame lock knife, which you can see right here uh, by looking at the back side. That's how you open and close the knife. You're going to push on the frame itself. And that's the mechanism to open and close, just like that. The Gerber SDL 2.0 features a drop point blade made from 440A stainless steel with a fine edge. The handle material is stainless steel with a titanium PVD coating. And the opening style is a thumb slot, which you can see right here. One last feature I almost forgot to mention, this knife does feature a hole right there at the end of the handle, so you could put this on a keychain or on a necklace if you chose to. Now one of the things that gear reviewers are often guilty of, myself included, is spending time only focusing on large knives or knives with the large price tags or some combination of the two. A lot of times we don't focus on affordable knives or smaller knives uh, because they can be so inexpensive and a lot of times they're not that great of quality. So there's really not a lot of value in spending a ton of time focusing on them. Uh, but the reason why I really wanted to highlight this pocket knife for you is because it is such great quality. I have never handled a knife thus far this small that I've been in this impressed with at this price point. At under $15, this thing is a steal and it is built like a tank. Do not let the small size fool you. This thing is very well built, very strong, very well designed. If you look at the handle, it's just it's very simplistic in design, but it's it's sharp looking, it's clean, it's very thin, very smooth. There's no uh, rough edges on this or anything that's going to scrape you up. Um, there's no burrs on it. There's no uh, manufacturing defects where things aren't you know out of flush, anything like that. Nothing I could see with this knife. And I've had this knife for a very long time now, um, carried it for a long time, and uh, it has not uh, failed to... Uh, impress me. Uh, I have only lightly sharpened this thing a few times. It came very, very sharp out of the box. So this is a great everyday carry knife because it's very sharp, works great for things like I use it for opening box, uh, boxes, packaging, things like that at my work. And uh, it'll also cut through cordage like paracord, uh, no problem. You can shave wood with this thing make feather sticks, all that kind of stuff if you need to. So very versatile, very sharp, and very well built. One more thing I want to demonstrate for you guys, just so you know, this knife will work with a ferro rod. It does have hard 90 degree edges on the blade itself, as well as decent hard edges on the handle. If you didn't want to use the blade itself, or you were trying to use it with this thing closed for some reason, maybe for safety purposes, um, you know, with it being a smaller knife, maybe it'd be a little bit safer. I'll just show you guys. Here we are, the knife's closed, not even utilizing the blade at all. And I've got my ferro rod right here, and you can see I'm able to throw sparks. Um, also, off of the blade itself, works just a little bit better, and uh, but there you go. So this will work with the ferro rod, so definitely an important thing if you're ever looking at a knife to go into a survival kit, especially maybe if you're packing a small ferro rod or something like that in that kit, you need a knife that has the right edges on it that you're actually going to be able to get a spark. So make sure you check that if you're going to build a micro survival kit. But this knife does have those hardened edges that you need uh, to utilize a ferro rod. Now about the only negative thing I could say about this knife is the fact that Gerber does advertise it as having easy one-handed uh, operation opening it uh, as far as with the uh, the frame lock uh, but I found mine to be too stiff to really effectively 
open with just one hand. Um, even using that, that thumb hole, it's just, it's not enough. It's just awkward and uh, it doesn't really work. Now this knife might be a little stiffer than some. Maybe if I oiled it up or played with it a little bit more, I would get a little bit looser. Um, but uh, I think they might be exaggerating uh, the uh, ease in one-handed operation of this knife. However, for a knife this small, it's, it's a very small, very minor uh, detail to me. I'm not super worried about that easy snap open uh, one-handed operation on this kind of knife because this isn't the type of knife you're going to be using for like self-defense or something like that. It's just way too small for that. So if you really have to deploy this knife that fast, you must be in a very bad situation. Um, but other than that, I cannot find anything wrong with the design of this knife. It's just incredible for the price point. It's just an amazing value. And I would encourage you guys to check it out. If you're looking for a very small knife specifically, something you want that's going to be really easy to carry on you. I mean, it fits great if you have jeans where they have that little... A uh, small pocket on the inside and the front pocket, whatever they design that for, it fits right into that. Or if you're carrying this in your pocket wearing dress slacks or something like that, or you don't want a big knife that's going to show, great for that. Also, just so you know, the size of this, it is small enough that it will easily fit inside of an Altoids can. So if you're one of those people who's a fan of the old school Altoids survival kits where you want to put some tinder in there, uh, maybe a lighter or a, or a uh, fire starter, and you want to have a knife in there, some things like that, it will fit in there, which is hard to find a good quality knife that's actually uh, thin enough and short enough in length that you're going to be able to fit inside of an Altoids can like that. So a really cool little knife, definitely one I recommend checking out. They're easy to find in a lot of retailers. Uh, Gerber stuff is uh, well put out there uh, in a lot of the major retailers. So check it out next time you're uh, in one of those stores, and I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed pointed with this little knife. All right, this concludes our review of the Gerber STL 2.0 Fine Edge Holding Knife. Feel free to leave your comments and questions below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to look us up on Facebook, Twitter, and our blog.